All right, what's going on, everybody? So I want to just talk quickly about just all of this election stuff, the shenanigans and everything that has been, in some sense, a repeat of 2020, because what we're seeing so far is a lot of little snippets of what they may attempt to do to try to, quote unquote, steal this election and to play it to their favor in whatever way they can. And so you've seen a lot of news already coming out about early voting and it being, in some sense, uh, a mishap. And I'll talk about a few of the, the news clippets. And this is, in some sense, a replica, not even to the full extent, but we'll see, in some sense, that happening. But also, at the same time, Trump has said that they won't steal this election. So whatever that means, Space Force, the guys, it's going to be, in some sense, a smoother election from the white hat perspective. But at the same time, they're going to try to do what they can. And so I believe that Trump, he will, quote unquote, be voted back in. Again, if you have followed me, you know that he's been commander in chief this entire time. He has, in some sense, if you want to call it devolution, or if he has made a continuity of government of sorts ever since uh, the COVID attacks and also the steal of the election. Again, this is something that he stood by. A lot of us have stood by, but there's been a fierce divide from the media and other people as being election deniers and other people saying that it actually was stolen. You just have to look at some of the facts, the dead people voting, the the, the hacks, the switches, the mail-in ballot stuff, and all of the, the midnight past the, the deadline counting and just all these different things. And again, I'm not going to get into that because it's a hotly debated topic. But if you know the truth, you know you have to have, in some sense, some uh, some faith, but also look between the, the, the lines in some sense. Trump, the military, and these guys, they also have more and more evidence. But for whatever reason, they're not allowing that to come out fully yet. And he's mentioned this on the uh, Joe Rogan podcast and many others because there's an entire military operation going on. And so I'm saying this because, again, we're seeing little snippets of news. And I'll show you a couple of these things. Michigan Secretary of State... Uh, Jocelyn Benson says there is a nationwide issue with Dominion voter access terminals that's preventing voters from making certain selections. She said this, it's all over the news, and they're still downplaying it in some sense and saying that it's not that big of a deal when we know that Dominion, we've said before, had, had the ability to access the internet and it was not supposed to. And in Colorado, we see that partial passwords, this is among many of the things related to the, the the virtual side of things, right? The the internet side of things, the access systems, the voting systems, uh, passwords to a Colorado voting systems accidentally posted on the Secretary of State's website. So there's a lot of manual processes that go in this, and it's not in some sense secure. And of course, I'm not going to even get into the polling stuff and how they're trying to manipulate and say certain things. But even this. Pennsylvania was a news station in Pennsylvania was forced to apologize for flashing up the U.S. presidential election results in the state as part of a test, quote unquote, test that wasn't supposed to be seen by viewers. I believe this is part of ABC's broadcast declaring again, look at the results. Harris is being the winner, 52 percent, and all of these votes being 100 percent reported. So, of course, they're doing something here, whether it's psychological or they're being you know, readying themselves up for what the night is going to be. All of this stuff is very suspect, right? And then this is crazy. In Vancouver, and I believe Seattle, Washington, Oregon, basically, they have these, like, uh, ballots. People are going around. I don't know what's happening, but they're, they're being burnt. All of these early voting ballots are being burnt. And so you got all these people. They don't know that their ballot hasn't been cast. How are you going to contact them? This is going on right now, and I don't know how many other places across the U.S. that they're doing to try to sabotage and whatever it is. And again, I'm not blaming one side or the other. We're just saying, look at the faults of doing these things and the, the gaps in security and the integrity of it, as opposed to paper ballots on the day of being fully counted and going in and you handing it in, putting it into the scanner that's not connected to the Internet or counting it manually, however that works, as opposed to doing all these things because we've seen it again in 2020 how they went and they spent all night pulling ballots out of the back rooms and counting them and you had all the markers the signature verification issues all the scanned things and what have you got here so again i'm saying all this because we are in a, a position now for which we can do something about it we've prepared a lot of us we can be volunteering on the day of to help a watch for irregularities we can be you know, part of all of this, there's there's so many things that's happened all, all the way up until now, but also you have to 
work with integrity, with honesty, and you have to not be part of the problem that is going to facilitate even more chaos. And so again, go out, go vote, pray about it. I'm not going to tell anybody what to do, who to vote for. If you know me, you've been following me, you know what I'm going to do. But for now, what we're doing is we need to, we need to fight on the side of righteousness. Now, I believe God has this and the military through the intervention that God is using with the military or rather the White Hats, whatever it is, whoever is part of this, they've got this. But at the same time, we cannot let up and we cannot go unnoticed in the sense of our part that we have to play. And so, again, if you're American, I encourage you to do this. If you're part of the other countries, many followers from other countries, go out and do the same thing because this is a time for which our vote, our action, though it may be small, it matters. So love you guys. Talk to you guys very soon.